Thank you very much. Hey, fellas, could we move over a little bit? Fellas, fellas, fellas. Hey, could we move over a little bit, please? Could we? We need room. Come on. Thank you. Could you move over, please? We want the people to be able to see. We all love each other. We want room, right? Well, it's great to be in Florida. My second home. I live here. I stay here. I love this place. And I want to tell you, so I guess we have like 11,200 here. And, and outside, outside we have over 10,000 people. Would anybody like to switch places? You are great. There is no place like being at a Trump rally. No place. No place. Thank you very much. In 28 days, we're going to win Florida, and we are going to win back the White House. We're going to win them back. I'd like to begin tonight by extending our thoughts and prayers to those recovering from the tragic aftermath of Hurricane Matthew. And I watched, and fortunately, it took a little bit of a turn to the right, to the east, and we got a little lucky, but it was still very bad. So to everybody, our thoughts and prayers are with you. Thank you. <laughs> Due to the hurricane, voter registration has been, it's been extended. Did you hear about this? <laughs> Through tomorrow. So register. You got to go and register or we, we've really, you know, we're doing something that's incredible. It's a movement. But if we don't win, all it is is a little asterisk in history. There's never been anything like this. So go and register. Make sure you get out and vote November 28th. If you've already registered, request an absentee ballot today and vote really early. We've got to win. The Hillary Clinton documents released today by WikiLeaks make more clear than ever just how much is at stake in this election. So much corruption. This election will determine whether we remain a free country in the truest sense of the word, or we become a corrupt banana republic controlled by large donors and foreign governments. The election of Hillary Clinton would lead to the destruction of our country. Believe me, it will lead to the destruction of our country. Today we learned, amazingly, that the Department of Justice fed information to the Clinton campaign about the email investigation so that the campaign could be prepared to cover up her crimes. What is going on? Rudy Giuliani said it. This is collusion and corruption of the highest order and is one more reason why I ask my attorney general, I will ask, to appoint a special prosecutor. We have to investigate Hillary Clinton, and we have to investigate the investigation. This was a disgrace. This was a disgrace. Hillary bleached and deleted 33,000 emails after congressional subpoenas. Can you imagine that? They got a subpoena from the United States Congress, and then they deleted everything. If you did that in private life, you go to jail and then destroyed her phones, some with a hammer, boom. Anybody destroy your phones before with a hammer? Anybody? No? Anybody? No? And people have gone to jail for doing far less. She also lost, think of this, she was Secretary of State, lost as much as $6 billion in taxpayer money while she was running Secretary of State. Now, some people say it was misplaced. Oh, billions of dollars misplaced. These WikiLeaks emails confirm what those of us here today have known all along. Hillary Clinton is the vessel, a corrupt global establishment that's raiding our country and surrendering the sovereignty of our nation. 
This criminal government cartel doesn't recognize borders, but believes in global governance, unlimited immigration, and rule by corporations. It also believes in no borders. Just come on, folks, come on in. Speaking in secret to a foreign bank, again, just revealed, Hillary Clinton said, my dream is a hemispheric common market with open trade and open borders. Well, there go the rest of your businesses, and there goes your country, folks. She doesn't say that. Behind closed doors, when she thought no one was listening, she pledged to dissolve the borders of the United States of America. No borders. You don't have borders, we don't have a country. WikiLeaks has given us a window into the secret corridors of government power, where we see a former Secretary of State announcing her desire to end forever the American independence that our founders gave to us and wanted us to have. American soldiers have fought and died to win and keep America's freedom. And now Hillary Clinton wants to surrender that freedom to these open borders, open trade, and a world government. And by the way, we want a government for the United States. We're very happy with it. We're very happy with it. Crooked Hillary is so radical in immigration that as Secretary of State, she refused to make foreign countries take back their criminal aliens. We have them all over the place. She didn't want to bring them back. They'd bring them back. The countries were smart. They said, we don't want them. We'd say, okay, we'll take them. And then you look at the crime and you wonder why. And by the way, do you know, it was just announced, that murder is the highest it's been in our country in 45 years. You've heard that, right? One such killer who was set free on Hillary's watch went to a jail, came out, and went on to kill a beautiful young American girl named Casey Chadwick. People have heard that name. Beautiful, wonderful person. The killer, who had already been convicted for shooting a girl in the head, should have been sent home. Instead, he was set free and stabbed Casey in the face and neck 15 times violently and stuffed her body in a closet. The corrupt establishment in Washington wants to surrender America's borders, even as they send our troops overseas to protect the borders of foreign countries. We're protecting the borders of foreign countries, but not our borders. A Trump administration will secure control, defend and protect the borders of the United States. We are going to protect. And the Border Patrol agents just gave us, as you know, their endorsement. Never did it before. ICE just gave us their endorsement. Sheriff Joe from Arizona just gave us his endorsement. Even Chelsea Clinton, the WikiLeaks email show, expressed serious concerns about conflicts of interest at the Clinton Foundation and the State Department. During a recent trip to Florida, I had a chance to spend some time with the incredible residents of Little Haiti. The Haitian community has contributed so much to this country and to this state. I also learned from them firsthand how much they despise the Clintons for what they did to the people of Haiti. New emails revealed today by ABC News show that during the deadly earthquake in Haiti, which killed over 150,000 people at least. The Clintons couldn't stop cashing in. As people were dying in Haiti, Clinton insiders were separating out requests from Friends of Bill or William Jefferson Clinton VIPs so that their business interests or contracts would receive very special treatment. People who were labeled not Friends of Bill were placed very much on the sidelines. In their biggest project, the Clintons used $400 million in aid and U.S. taxpayer funds to build what amounted to a massive sweatshop. And guess who set it up? Cheryl Mills, Hillary's chief of staff, who helped destroy her emails, and then got immunity from the FBI that included the destruction of her computer. 
Never been anything. Folks, there's never been anything like this. There's never been what's gone on here with the email destruction, with the, the deletion of thousands and thousands. And last week it was revealed that two boxes of emails and information were missing. They were missing. They're gone. The company that benefited from Mills' actions then invented in a company. They put a lot of money in a company owned by Cheryl Mills. They invested. Today, as Haiti's death toll from Hurricane Matthew is on the rise, we should never forget how Bill and Hillary Clinton handled Haiti the last time out. To all of our friends in Haiti, and to all of our friends in Little Haiti, who are so amazing, your day of justice is coming, and it arrives on November 8th. We've got to do this. We've got to do it. We've got to do it. Not only have the Clintons ripped off Haiti, but the new emails show members of the Clinton team attacking Catholics. While this is offensive, it's just the latest evidence of the hatred that the Clinton campaign has, really for everyday Americans, and you see it. And you see so much from these WikiLeaks. You see so much. There's so much. We've all read the reports and heard the stories about how disrespectfully she treats law enforcement. You've seen it. How disrespectful she is to the Secret Service and many others in uniform, even there to protect her. And by the way, these are weapon-carrying people. They carry weapons. Hillary Clinton wants to really dismantle our Second Amendment, you know? So maybe she should start with her security people not carrying weapons. Does that make sense to you? Maybe. Maybe she should. She even smeared all of America's police officers as essentially racist. You heard that recently. Essentially racist. And by the way, I want to give a shout out and salute to our great people of law enforcement, our police. They've done an amazing job. I'm proud of the fact that I've always treated the working people of this country with dignity and respect, especially our military and law enforcement personnel. These are amazing people. The WikiLeaks emails show that Hillary's staff even has given up secret notes on when she needs to smile. It's all a phony deal with her. By the way, did everybody see the debate, right? Gotten good reviews, good reviews. We've gotten good reviews, we'll see what happens. But Pat Buchanan said the greatest of any presidential debate, the greatest performance. Thank you very much, folks, thank you. And we had eight online polls, and every one of those, that's Time Magazine and Drudge and so many others, and every one of them said we won by a massive margin. So let's hope it all boils down. Let's hope it all boils down to winning on November 8th. Otherwise, honestly, I've wasted my time. You've wasted your time. I will have spent over $100 million on running for office. A lot of money, a lot of money. That's not the thing. If I don't win, it will be the single greatest waste of time, energy, and money. And you know, somebody told me recently, a pundit said, doesn't matter whether you win or lose. What we've done, all of us, what we've done, but what I've done has never been duplicated. There's never been anything like this in American history. You look at our crowds. I mean, Bernie Sanders was second. His crowds are tiny. Did you see Hillary Clinton today? She had this little crowd, and they would say, oh, it was the biggest crowd. She had nothing. She had nothing. And they, they're talking on television because the media's rigged. Let me tell you. The best thing she's got going. My opinion, the only thing she's got going is the rigged media. That's, she's got nothing going. Can you imagine working with her for four more years? The last thing we need, the last thing we need is another four years of Barack Obama. We don't need that, believe me. That's what we're going to get if we get her. 
But the emails also show yet again that the DNC, Democratic National Committee, rigged the Democratic election, the primary process, to take it away from Bernie and give it to Hillary Clinton. The DNC vice chair was caught feeding information about Bernie Sanders' plans to the Clinton campaign. You're not supposed to do that. It's supposed to be, you know, if I was Bernie, I wouldn't be too happy after watching what came out today in WikiLeaks. Bernie was used. And in all fairness, Bernie made a deal with the devil, and he made a big mistake. He could have gone down as something very important in American history. When he made that deal, he sold out. He sold out. And very, very bad. But to all the Bernie voters out there, don't vote for a Wall Street sellout like Hillary Clinton. And you remember this, the one thing I had in mind and the one thing we had in common with Crooked Hillary was borders. The borders are much stronger. That's why I have all the endorsements from everybody on the borders. But Bernie knew that we were getting ripped off on trade, and he was right. Except my numbers are much different. We're going to redo it. We're going to have unbelievable trade deals. We're going to make unbelievable deals. But to the, Bernie's, to the Bernie Sanders people, you got sold out. But remember this, I'm much stronger on trade, so much stronger on trade than Bernie. And trade was a big deal because he was right. We are getting sold out. Our jobs are being lost. Our jobs are being taken. We're being sold out. A vote for Hillary is a vote for more reckless foreign invasions, more Wall Street cheating, more terrible trade deals. And as confirmed just today by WikiLeaks, Hillary also wants to cut Medicare and Social Security. She wants to do that. A vote for Trump is a vote for America first and is a vote to protect Medicare and Social Security. Believe me, we're going to protect our Medicare, we're going to protect our Social Security. She's not going to do it. She's also going to raise your taxes, big league folks, and we're going to lower your taxes. Minor, minor thing, but just remember it. WikiLeaks also shows something I've been warning every, everybody, everybody about for a long time. The media is simply an extension of Hillary Clinton's campaign. It's just one more way that the system is rigged. A big way, really a big way. Reporters who work for these outlets, like the Washington Post or the New York Times, may think of themselves as journalists, but they're actually just cogs in a corporate political machine. The dishonesty of the New York Times is unbelievable. The dishonesty of the Washington Post is unbelievable. The dishonesty of all of those cameras, so many of them, not all of them, is unbelievable. The emails show the New York Times, the Boston Globe, Univision, a third-rate reporter named John Harwood. What a third-rate reporter that one is. Remember he did the debate and made a total fool of himself? He's of CNBC, all doing favors for the Clinton. And reporters smothering the Clintons with praise. Why? Why? You saw Hillary on the debate stage. Do you think... Do you think that's really worthy? Do you really think that's worthy, folks? Do you think that's what this country is all about? The New York Times even gave Clinton veto power over her quotes in a major story. I've never heard about that. I'd like to have veto power when they misquote me all the time. It's actually corruption. The emails also show that Hillary was given the CNN town hall questions before her big debate against Bernie Sanders. Is that possible? Donna Brazil, the DNC vice chair, emailed, from time to time, I get questions in advance, she said. Oh, that's fair. How, do you think that's fair to Bernie? I'm starting to feel, they really, Aren't we starting to feel sorry for Bernie Sanders? Like a little bit, right? The media can't report on the establishment because the media largely is the establishment. 
and the corrupt media is teamed up against you, the American people. And I used to get great press until I said I'm running. Then they said, he's running. We don't want him to run. But I used to get great. Who got better press than me? I got great press, a lot of press. My wife said the other day, you used to get such great press. Now every single story is a slant. And I'll tell you what, it's libelous, it's slanderous, it's horrible, and it's really unfair. But we're going to beat the system. We're going to beat the system. We're going to break up the failed establishment and the chronic corruption and create a new and bright American future. I didn't need to do this, folks. I didn't need to do this. But we have to do it. And we have the greatest people on earth. The, the people of our country, these are the greatest people on earth. I've gotten to know so many. Our veterans are so incredible, they're not being taken care of. Our military, our police. We have the greatest people on earth. Hillary Clinton, the candidate of the past, today dredged up Al Gore. Did you see him? Anybody see him? Didn't he say he was the founder of the internet? He wasn't. To campaign with her in Florida. Al Gore wants to eliminate the combustion engine, essentially. And flies around the world on jets and pushes plans that would help create China, make it stronger. They make so much of our product. They make so much, they make so many of our big windmills. And you know, when they're making them, that steel and all of that stuff that they talk about going up into the air, but it's got to go up into the air. Maybe we should be making them instead of China, Germany, and other places. The Obama Clinton EPA spent billions on failed climate projects. Instead of repairing water infrastructure in cities like Flint. Remember Flint? What a shame. My administration will address important environmental priorities like the Everglades and ensure quality water all across America, including the fixing of water problems like Lake Okeechobee. It's amazing. You know, Lake Okeechobee. They're always letting the water out. Do you ever notice we always have droughts? They're always letting the water out. I said, keep it in. We won't have so many droughts. We won't have any droughts. But Lake Okeechobee, and, and you know, a lot of things have happened. Hillary has received millions of dollars from donors who want to shut down American energy altogether. Radical activists like Tom Steyer have promised to spend more than $70 million this election to get Clinton and Democrats like her elected. In return, Clinton wants to shut down energy production all across the United States. Where do you see your energy bills? We're going to put the miners and the steel workers of our country back to work. We're going to do it. <laughs> Hillary Clinton and Al Gore support the Paris deal, which will cost America over $5 trillion and cause Florida electricity rates to skyrocket over the years. Skyrocket. Think of it. We're going to spend $5 trillion. And you know what's going to happen? We're going to become non-competitive with other countries. Other countries are eating our lunch right now. They're eating our lunch. We're going to become non-competitive. The Paris deal also allows China, the world's largest polluter by far, to increase emissions for more than a dozen years while the United States makes drastic cuts immediately. Right now. What's that all about? Why aren't we doing it together? What's that about? Who negotiates our deals? It's one more way the Clintons have surrendered American prosperity to China and so many other countries. We are led by people that are grossly incompetent, folks. They're grossly incompetent. How about the 400 million in cash that they gave Iran that turned out to be 1.7 billion? You know what 1.7 billion is? It's like the stage loaded up with money. Nobody's ever seen it. Can you imagine these people in Iran when they see the money? They say, can you believe this? Boy, did we hit the jackpot. Three years ago, before we made them rich, they would die. They, as a country, they were ready to go. But we made them rich. We made them rich. How about the 800 people ready for deportation? Remember two weeks ago. Ready for deportation, they made a mistake. They all became... United States citizens, right? 
And these were people that were not exactly too good. That's why they were being deported. But the 800 turned out to be wrong. Somebody actually said, Trump was wrong in the number. I said, oh, well, man, here we go. Was it 400? Was it 799? No, it was one, I guess it was, what, 17, 1800, it turned out. It's much more than the eight. They said I was wrong because I was low. The whole thing is crazy. So I said, you know what, that's okay. Just reverse the project. You know, get them, you can deport them. They said, that wouldn't be constitutional. Hey, folks, folks. We're being led by stupid people. We're being led by stupid people. And Hillary Clinton will be worse than Obama.